What's up you freaking geniuses? So in this video I'm going to teach you about the commutative property of addition and multiplication. Now the commutative property basically just says that when you add or multiply numbers together, whether they're positive or negative, you can switch them around, you can move them around, and you'll still get the same answer, okay? So for example, let's start right here with an easy one, 3 plus 5. 3 plus 5 is equal to 8, right? But if I switch it around and do 5 plus 3, well, my answer is still 8, right? Okay, and the same thing applies when you have negative numbers. So negative 3 plus 5 is equal to positive 2. Okay, but if I switch it around, if I do 5 plus negative 3, well, my answer is still positive 2. Or here we have three different digits, right? I have 2 plus 6 plus 10, and that's equal to, let's see, 2 plus 6 is 8, and then 8 plus 10 is 18. All right, but if I switch this around, if I do... 10 plus 2 plus 6, well, I still get the same answer, right? 10 plus 2 is 12, and then 12 plus 6 is 18, all right? So when you're adding numbers together, whether they're positive or negative, doesn't matter, you can move them around, and it's not going to affect your answer, okay? And it also applies to multiplication. So down here, 3 times 5 is equal to 15, right? And then again, if you switch it around, 5 times 3 well, that's still equal to 15, all right? And again, same thing with negative numbers. 2 times negative 4, well, a positive times a negative is a negative, and then 2 times 4 is equal to 8, right? So negative 8. And then again, if you switch it around, negative 4 times 2, well, you still get negative 8. Okay, and one more example that has three digits. So here we have 2 times 4 times 10. So solving for this, 2 times 4 is 8, and then 8 times 10 is 80, right? But again, if you switch it around, so if I did 10 times 2 times 4, well, 10 times 2 is 20, and then 20 times 4, again, is still 80, all right? And one thing I want to make clear is don't mix these up. So if I had 2 plus 3 times 5, so in this case, I am adding and multiplying, right? So you cannot move things around. Because we have two different operations here, right? We have addition and multiplication. So here you cannot move things around. Because if you notice all the examples I did, I stayed consistent, right? Here we just added. Here we just added. Here we just added. And then same thing down here. We just multiplied, we just multiplied, and we just multiplied, okay? So don't mix them together. Because if you, try, if you mix them together and move stuff around, it will not work. You will get the wrong answer. But if you're strictly just adding, you can move stuff around. Or if you're strictly just multiplying, again, you can move stuff around. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below. Also, there's a couple playlists attached that I think you'll find helpful. So definitely check those out, and I'll see you there.